From his early days on Cagney and Lacey to shows such as Alias, Mantis, Zoo and Supergirl, actor Carl Lumley has been a familiar face on TV and the big screen. And most recently, the veteran star is taking on the role of Isaiah Bradley in the Marvel miniseries, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I ain't gonna lie. You're special. Thank you. I mean, you ain't no Malcolm or Martin. Mandela, but... No argument there, but I know what I've got to do. So, a black Captain America, huh? Damn right. <laughs> the fight you taking on ain't gonna be easy, Sam. Yeah, but I he makes be. it look easy. Please welcome actor Carl Lumley to the Pixel of a Morning News. Good morning, sir! Morning, OG. Happy Friday. Okay, so I already told you earlier that I was gonna pretend to be like all classy and stuff because you're a classy guy, but you told me, OG, be yourself. I love you more than I already did already. That's what you, that's your <laughs> advice to me, right? That's the only advice I have for anyone. Aww. It's my, my advice to myself. It was my mother's advice to me, my father's advice to me. That's it. All right, Mr. Lumley, let's talk about your character, Isaiah Bradley, who goes from super soldier to prison to legend. And I can't even imagine that, that there are people who don't know the story because the, the show is so massive, it's so huge. So what can you fill us in about his story? Um, hmm. I, I, I suppose the part I could fill in is the part that I had to intuit about what that experience might be like because we don't know the specifics of what he went through. Mm -hmm when he was incarcerated, but we do know that he approached um, service with a certain pride and a certain feeling that, like so many other people, he wanted to do something for his country. He ended up being betrayed in that effort, but I don't know that it changed anything about what he would do. I don't know if you asked Isaiah if he would do something different, what his answer would be. And it was on that basis that I moved forward because I think her heroism is exactly that, moving forward when you're not exactly sure what's going to, what the outcome will be. You only know the effort. And the fan banter online about wanting to see his so his story is like incredible. And you know what, what I found funny is that you said, correct me if I'm wrong, that you, you knew the Marvel Universe was huge, but you didn't realize how major it was. What was it? What was that turning point that made you say, oh my gosh, this is bigger than I thought? Um, one was my son, oh. who um, uh, informed me uh, after it began airing that this character was, um, was very important and that uh, some of the history that I had been made aware of was that he had um, come in very late in the day, I suppose, in the 2000s, because someone wanted to explore his story through the story of the um, Tuskegee uh, syphilis experiment. Mm -hmm. And then um, I began hearing from other people, some people that I hadn't heard from in a long time, who <laughs> said, I am a big fan of Marvel. And then other people who knew my work maybe from other things, but apparently, um, being a part of the Marvel Universe is a kind of an identifier that a lot of people mm -hmm. enjoy. Yes, it is. But And this is not your first time in the superhero world, because every from, from Mantis to Justice League to our own C CW Supergirl, which makes us related, but that's not the only thing we have in common, sir, <laughs> because I am a professional stalker, just as you're a professional actor, and I <laughs> found out, no, seriously, this I was amazed by this, that you actually were not even supposed to be an actor you were sent yes. an assignment because you were a reporter and you went to cover mm -hmm. and 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 um an improv, an improv, improv comedy, school an improv school right and that's how this it was happened comedy theater and it was uh, they did satire political satire and i was sent to write a story because their cast had been all moved to la their entire cast um and they were recasting the entire thing so it was a combination of writing and acting. I didn't consider myself an actor, but when the accident happened and they asked me to become a part of the um, company, I thought it would be interesting. And now these years later, I'm again, I wouldn't have done anything different. I, because uh, stories like yours just remind you that the universe or the, w the whatever higher power has a way of working things out. 
And I'm sure like after that happened, you're like, okay, this is where I'm meant to be. I don't know if that would happen for me because you already, you, you had like this talent that you didn't know you had until that happened. Well, I'm not sure I knew this was where I was meant to be, but I knew it was where I was. And I think if you are where you are, <laughs> do the best you can. See, sir, you need to write a book of like sayings and why stuff, because I'm sure if I type up wisdom on Google, your face will pop up, sir, because you are like you, you're like, OG, be yourself. If you are where you are, that's where you're supposed to be. Make the best of it. It's like I have like a real life Yoda talking to me, giving you wise words and stuff, sir. Such a pleasure to meet you. My pleasure to meet you We're as not, well. We, we are connected through Supergirl for life. So when I tell people that I'm related to you, please go along with it. Act. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Yes. What? Cuz? What? <gasps> You're my cousin, Mr. Longley. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you. I will see you at the family reunion then. But, All right. but fans yes. can see you on The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is currently streaming on Disney+. Plus. And we cannot wait to hear Mr. Bradley's backstory. Goodbye, Mr. Lomley. Bye-bye. How kind and sweet wait. is he? Except when you said, and I'll see you at the family reunion, and then no, there was said, a nervous he, laughter. No, he called me cousin. <laughs> oh, I heard that. I was shocked. Did you see? I was like, wait, I what? It. I was like, how did he know? <laughs>